Hi everyone. Well, as you saw in the previous section of video, we've got a plow mounted up on main mud mower. And we are currently running on the zinc locker in the back. If you want more information on that, I'll include it with the picture and on the uh, description of this video. But main mud mower now has plow gear mounted up. This particular plow gear is a Craftsman 486. 244020 but all of the plows that start with 486 that are 48 inch plows all have the same exact mounting gear as this particular one does the only difference is this model that has the 244 in it has dual springs on the front instead the other models only have a singular spring so basically, on this particular model, there is this center bar. The center bar comes back, and it has a pivot bar. And I've mounted this piece with this piece of square stock going into the side of my skid plate frame. And this piece comes back, and it has this round piece of DOM that the pivot slides into on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'll set the camera on a tripod and I'll show you how this piece comes off and I made an identical one for the other side that holds the pivot. Alright, before we get started taking this apart, I would also like to point out that this is not an original part. This is the original piece that mounted for pulling back on the cable for doing the leverage on the plow. And what I did was I welded a piece of loop onto it so that that way I would have something for the hook to go on for up and down for the plow. So we're going to disconnect this now so that we can be able to drop the whole assembly and I can show you the cross member underneath. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to take out this bolt which is what holds the entire assembly onto there. Alright so at this point this piece here should just slide right off. So as you can see, that piece there actually slides inside of that, which hopefully makes more sense for people now. And this piece here, this DOM that's welded on the end, pivots on the end of this. So when you slide the whole thing on, like so, you get that. So just so that people can see what the actual assembly underneath looks like, we'll pull it out from the other side and drop it down. So now if you look right there, you can see what the entire assembly piece underneath there looks like. And to be honest, you could probably build one yourself quite easily. So that piece there connects with this piece and as you can see it connects to the one on the other side so anyways another successful test for the zinc locker we managed to plow an entire third of a mile long driveway in about a six inch snowstorm with wet snow that was not fun and it did really good. Uh, the only problem that I had with it while I was plowing was that the bear claws tend to stand up and kind of ice skate on the rear end. It's kind of less snow plowing and more snow drifting with a purpose. But anyways guys, we didn't break anything this time. Have fun. Bye. Hey guys, this is my own custom trencher. Every kid needs one. So what's it look like, the tool you have? So it's got a custom handle on both sides so it's easy to grip. And then it's got a piece of bed rail that's been sharpened on the front. And it works really good.